There is no dark matter or dark energy in the universe. According to the currently most popular theory, the universe, of course in simplified terms, consists of ordinary matter, dark matter and dark energy and is about 13.8 billion years old. But an Ottawa physicist challenges this model in a new publication. According to him, there is no place for dark matter and dark energy in space, and the universe itself is much older. Last year, Rajendra Gupta, a theoretical physicist at the University of Ottawa, suggested that the universe is 26.7 billion years old, not 13.8 as previously assumed. According to him, this may explain why some galaxies observed by astronomers look surprisingly mature. Although according to current theories they should have existed for only 300 million years. Now the researcher has proposed expanding his concept, which assumes that there is no dark matter in the universe. A study questioning the current model of the universe was published in the Astrophysical Journal. In cosmology, the term, dark matter, describes anything that does not appear to interact with light or electromagnetic fields, or that can be explained only by the force of gravity. Dark matter cannot be observed. We do not know what it is made of whether it is a still unknown type of particles or waves traveling through space. However, it is believed to be present throughout the universe. The only thing we have to confirm that dark matter actually exists is various types of indirect evidence. Its existence is revealed by the gravitational effects it exerts. At least this is how scientists explain anomalies in the rotation of galaxies and the motion of galaxies in clusters. There is too little visible matter to explain the effects occurring in these cases. matter is thought to hold galaxies together and act as the glue that holds them together. Dark energy, however, accelerates the expansion of the universe. In other words, leading cosmological theories treat dark matter as something that slows down the expansion of the universe, and dark energy as something that constantly accelerates it. However, despite years of searching, the existence of dark matter and energy has not been confirmed. Rajendra Gupta, professor of physics at the University of Ottawa, used a combination of the tired light theory with one of the variations of the current model, the Lambda CMD model. The scientist combined two ideas in his works. The first one, the concept of tired light, states that light loses energy as it travels huge distances. This idea was proposed in 1929 by Fritz Zwicky. Astronomers in the 19th century noticed that light whose source is located at a considerable distance from the Earth is red-shifted. This phenomenon involves shifting the lines of the electromagnetic radiation spectrum towards longer wavelengths. This measurement is used in astrophysics, among others, to estimate the age of observed objects. Light takes time to travel through space. A greater reddening effect is observed for objects that are further away. According to Zwicky, if photons lost energy over time through collisions with other particles, 
more distant objects would appear redder than closer ones. The researcher admitted that any scattering of light blurs images of distant objects more than what is visible. But Zwicky's concept, called tired light, encountered many problems and was not supported by observations, which is why it remained on the margins of astrophysics. His tired light hypothesis competed with the now accepted theory that the redshift frequency of light is due to the expansion of space. The second idea that Gupta combined suggests that the forces of nature change over time. This concept was proposed by the British Nobel Prize winner Paul Dirac. He suggested that the physical constants that govern interactions between particles can change over time and weaken over time by allowing the constants to evolve. The time frame for the formation of early galaxies observed, for example, by the Webb telescope at high redshifts can be extended from several hundred million years to several billion years. This provides a more realistic explanation for the advanced level of development and mass observed in some ancient galaxies. The combination of these two theories, Gupta explains, coincides with several observations, such as the scattering of galaxies and the evolution of light from the early universe. At the same time, it challenges current theories that indicate that only about 5% of the universe consists of ordinary, baryonic matter, and the rest is dark energy and dark matter. Our previous work on the universe's age of 26.7 billion years allowed us to discover that the universe does not need dark matter to exist, Gupta explains. In standard cosmology, it is said that the accelerated expansion of the universe is caused by dark energy, but in fact it is caused by the weakening of the forces of nature during its expansion, and not by dark energy, explains the scientist. Gupta suggests that his concept may explain fluctuations in the spread of baryonic, or ordinary, matter caused by acoustic waves early in the history of the universe. There are several papers questioning the existence of dark matter, but mine is the first to eliminate its cosmological existence while remaining consistent with key cosmological observations that have been confirmed, Gupta says. Gupta believes that by questioning the need for dark matter in the universe, he has provided evidence for a new cosmological model. According to him, this work opens up new possibilities for studying the basic properties of the universe.